Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at my level 5 Manticore Executioner which is a little bit like a DMR if DMRs fired slow moving projectiles and were not effective at hitting things far away. The first modification I have on it is increased headshot damage. Now this mod is actually completely pointless because once the gun is at level 5 it will kill even elites with a body shot or leg shot. So it's pointless at the moment unless, I don't know, something bigger comes along. Stowed reloading, that's very useful for this because it has quite a long reloading time so you can just holster it instead of reloading. The increased magazine size is very good so you get five shots instead of three, that's a massive improvement. And audio masking, that means I can fire this gun outside and no one will hear it, so it will be essentially silenced. Now, I don't think the increased range modification would be very helpful for this gun, because it's pretty hard to hit someone who's 50 metres away anyway, due to the slow travel time of the blasts. The improved hip fire modification could be useful because it would allow you to use the gun as a bit of a shotgun because it is pretty powerful though not as good as the actual shotgun the improved stability mod would help a little bit as it would suppress the recoil which is quite big but the rate of fire is so slow it shouldn't really matter i would think now Something that confuses people is that this gun doesn't actually fire blasts of plasma. No, it fires the tormented souls of unbelievers that Elrond is putting back into circulation through the use of this Manticore Executioner. So I just thought I should clear that up before we move on. We are exterminating scavengers because they refuse to regard John Travolta as part of the Holy Trinity. As you can see, one shot, one kill, and because I've got audio masking on, they don't hear my shots. So the audio masking is meant to work in unpressurised environments. That's outside or in buildings that have been depressurized. That being said, I've seen it sometimes work indoors in pressurized environments and I'm not entirely certain why. Anyway, that's has just completed that mission in 50 seconds. So go us. Now, this gun is, it's very effective at mopping up scavengers quickly as it kills with one body shot and in fact it will even kill elites with one body shot or leg shot assuming their shields are down of course which again makes the headshot modification pointless unless they bring out Thargoids or something in Ground Wars but I think that will be a long time in coming You have to lead them quite a bit, which is why I don't really like the gun that much. See, that was an elite in one body shot, one kill. I've got night vision on here because I'm cool. See, shot the back of his leg and that killed him. Shot his knee, that killed him. Say goodbye to the back of your knee. Yep, killed him too. Enemy are coming in hot. Now, I don't think the Executioner would be very effective against human players because they can just sidestep out of the way, rendering the gun fairly futile. In fact, some players did try to use it on me in a conflict zone once, but after they realised the error of their ways of challenging Elrond's champion, 
with such a puny weapon, they uh, gave up with it and went back to your standard laser and kinetics. Something else I should point out here is I'm currently using my new RTX 3090 and AMD 5950 and despite that, in conflict zones, with everything on low, I only get between 50 and 90 frames per second. Now that's with high-end stuff and everything on low. So that's not really great, is it? Now, just before we finish off, I would just like to remind you all, headshot damage bad, so don't go for that mod. And I'm going to leave you with something completely different. Good day. <laughs> This is shite!